if I just had more buttons, I could do this. Razor on this doesn't have enough. Darn it. I just need more buttons. Ah! You know what? I can fix this. Well guys, the Razor Rounds is just not cutting anymore. I need more buttons. Well, since Razor won the People's Choice Award for the Razor Naboo and got 50% off everything, well, I've decided I need more buttons. So I'm getting more buttons. So I picked up the Razor Saber 2. The upgraded version of the Anzo, which is what I have already. So we're going to see if four more buttons on the bottom help me out playing in my games or not. I don't really need four more buttons, it's just Trevor Serp 2. <laughs> anyway, get right into this. Cut this uh, slit on the side. So get into this box. Here's the documentation on the side. Wider than usual. For whatever reason. I'm just going to cut this. Let's see here, we've got the Certificate of Authenticity with a nice picture of the Razor Anzo. And this is probably the Quick Start Guide as well as other things. Nope, most of it's Quick Start Guide and just multiple pictures of different languages. Then stickers, and that seems to be about it. So I don't actually see a, uh, here's what else you should buy from us, packlet like usual. Okay, well, move that out of the way. Then, the carrying case for the Anza, which is actually really, really small and compact. I was looking at pictures and was like, there's no way this is, like, that small. This is going to have to be huge. It's not. It's about the size of the Anza. Don't really have a good way to show you, but it's about the size of the Anza or any other Xbox 360 controller, which I have right here with the chat pad. It's about the size of a standard Xbox controller with a chat pad. So it's actually not that bad. I thought it was going to be a lot bigger. Okay, well, let's crack it open. It's got a uh, green zipper handle, which is pretty nice. You can see it in the dark, maybe. Uh, it comes with ra uh, th rubber thumb pads. That's cool, I didn't know that. Uh, it's got the detachable cable here. Uh, it looks like it's the same type of connector as the Onza and Guitar Hero controllers for Xbox. So, uh, then it's got the little picture of how you're supposed to put it in. It's got a little bit of foam covering here. Not too sure what this is that's already come off. Oh, it's the little, the little, uh, screw cap came off during shipping or packaging, one of the two. Anyway, I can fit that in there later. There it goes. On the bottom has the four extra buttons, which I was talking about. They're, uh... They're not rockers. I mean, they rock, but they're uh, just click buttons. They're not anything other than that. Uh, other than that, it's a standard Xbox 360 controller, which I love because the Anza had the rubber pads, non-removable, and mine came off because I left my Anza out in the car and they kind of melted. Completely forgot and brain farted that they were out there. Uh, the feel on the Sabretooth is better than the Anza. The Anza is more of a sticky plastic. And this is kind of sticky plastic too on the Sabretooth, but it feels better. Uh, it could be because I've used the Anza a lot. The button placement is changed. So there's two on the uh, insides instead of on the uh, extra one on top, which is actually nicer because I don't like to have to reach up even more. That was kind of awkward for me. They moved the uh, start and back buttons back up to the middle instead of being on the bottom like the Anza. The D-pad has changed where um, it's not all bunched together. It's spaced out now, which is easier to not hit the wrong button. Uh, let's see the the uh, keycaps. See how we like those. In the keycaps thing, they have the... Uh, the covers, if you don't like the bottom four buttons, I have not decided yet because I haven't played a game with this yet as I just unboxed it. 
So I'm going to decide if I like the bottom buttons or not. And if I don't like them, they have the caps for it, as well as a tool to take it out. So you don't have to have four bottom tra... I don't even know what you want to call them. Triggers? If I could just get the keycaps out, it would be good. They probably just slide right over, and it's probably going to be a pain, but we'll do it and see if I like it. I'll put it over the right one only because that's the aiming stick. And it, it feels better. You don't you don't have the sliding action as you do. Like your finger can't just like slide off of it when you put the rubber keycaps on. So I guess that's a plus. And the plus about the saber tooth is they're replaceable. So if they actually do get messed up, you can replace them. I went everywhere, GameStop and everybody, just to find generic ones I could put on the on the tournament edition, and I couldn't find them anywhere. And oh, I'm pushing buttons on the game. Don't want to be pushing buttons on the game. It's probably going to be loud, but okay. Uh, whatever. Well, the triggers are different. The triggers aren't winged out like the Onza anymore, which I didn't really have a preference for. But this is more of the Sabretooth is more of a regular uh, Xbox 360 controller now, more than just true custom. The connection from the cable, there is a little groove on the very top and the left of the cable which you have to match up to the uh, saber tooth and there's a little notch in the cable so you can tell which way it's supposed to actually go so you don't actually have to look in it every time and then you just screw it on and then you're good to go no more messed up cable if you go to take it anywhere like I always did with the uh, Anza since it's not attachable you just you know, wrap it around it or something the uh, casing of it has two pouches one here for the cable the one here for the accessories, which is the uh, rubber keycaps, uh, tool, and the um, bag for the thing. Anyway, the controller half has just a foam piece. It's not really high quality foam, it's just foam. It's not dense foam or anything like that, but if you drop the case, I'm pretty sure it's not going to mess anything up. So, go ahead and plug this into the computer. I'm going to plug it into the 6800K computer, and it's probably going to be like, you don't have drivers, install drivers. And I'm going to be like, nope, I don't want drivers. I was playing an Xbox 360, but I do use the Anza, and I will use this on the PC. So, there we go. Now it says Razer on the bottom with the OLED display. I'm going to move my knife before I start cutting myself. Um... Oh, that's actually really, really cool. Alrighty, guys, so here's a view of the uh, OLED display. Let's see, we've got program mode, the Razer, looks like that's about it. So we got program mode, and okay, you use the D pad to move it from there. Test mode, rumble, see so how we can do this. Oh. Okay, left stick. Okay, so those are test features apparently. A to end. Okay. Trying to balance this with the tripod is kind of awkward. Probably should have plugged with this beforehand. So, to D pad, to rumble, rumble off. Oh, profiles. One, two, one, two. Don't want profiles. I want to go back to Rumble so I can turn that back on. Wait, what? What is it? Rumble. Rumble on. There we go. A. A confirms. Okay. So right button down here goes into it. D-pad moves it from there, and then A selects, confirm, backlight off. That turns the, uh, the A, B, X, Y off. And then you hit, uh, hit the button and it turns back on. It turns off all the LEDs. Okay, so that turns right back on program mode. 
Oh. Program mode. If I push the buttons on the bottom, which are these, it tells me disabled, 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 and disabled. Okay, well, do this. Set to X, and if, if you hit the other button and then just it rebinds to whatever, then the other side, I'm going to hit Y, it's about to Y, and the other one, I'm going to set it to B. Okay, simple enough. Test mode, sure. Left stick, sure. Okay, test mode, make sure all of your stuff's working. So, how do I get back from... Press A to end, I don't want to end it. Right stick, left stick, right stick, left stick. That's all test mode does is the sticks to make sure the sticks aren't were aren't broken. I would have liked to see a test mode for trigger. But I guess that's okay. So that seems like it's it. Just each of them goes to whatever. So then I'm gonna back out. And then it just says razor. So uh I'm gonna see if this uh, works in game now. Well, there. The, uh, the Sabertooth actually helped me. Well, guys, I think that's going to do it for the Razor Sabertooth. I like this controller a lot. The buttons are kind of awkward to get used to at first, but other than that, it's a really nice controller. I like it a lot. So, recommend you pick one up if you're looking for a custom controller. Until um, next time, peace.